Okay, let's begin. Please stand. Warm your bodies up. Shake everything out. Loosen everything up. And now let's take some deep cleansing breaths before we warm our entire bodies up. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Let's take those deep cleansing breaths. Inhale up, exhale, reach and lower. Always check the posture. I begin inhaling, exhale, reach and come down. Keep the feet flat on the floor, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, stretch up from side to side at your own pace, reaching and breathing, feeling the stretch of the sides of your body as you do. And now check the posture again, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Another deep cleansing breath, inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower. Now let's start from the bottom to the top, but we'll do our balance later. So have the feet out about twice the width of the shoulders or hips. My feet are almost pointed forward, but not quite. Make sure they're comfortable. They can be out a little bit more if you want the toes pointed outward. Hands on the waist or the hips and push the hips forward. Keep the abs in tight throughout. Push the hips back. Back to the center, inhaling. Exhale, push forward again. Roll to the left. Roll back. Roll to the right, roll forward. Now opposite direction, roll right, roll back, roll left and roll forward. Back to the center, toes out now, heels in. So when you bend your knees, the knee goes directly over the foot. You can keep the hands on the waist or the hips or bring the arms up inhaling. Exhale, reach and lower the arms to the T position, palms down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and stretch to the right, bending that knee, knee over the foot, abs in tight. Up, inhaling. Exhale, stretch to the left, lowering down. Same on this side of your body. Up, inhaling. Exhale, let's do that again. See if you can come a little lower, feel that stretch of the inner left leg if you can. Up, inhaling. Exhale, left. Same posture on this side. Up, inhaling. Exhale, right again. This time, if you want, reach toward the floor. You don't have to, but you may. Up, inhaling. Exhale, left. Whatever you did on the other side, do on this side as well. Up, inhale. Exhale, right. Repeat or cross over, opening to the back, abs in tight, look up. Up, inhaling. Exhale, left. Whatever you did on the other side, try to do on this side as well. Up, inhaling. Exhale, palms up, bring the arms up. Check the posture, inhaling. Exhale, reach and lower to the T position, palms down. I'm gonna bring my feet in just a bit. So when I bend my knees, both my knees go over my feet. Lower those hips down now with those knees bent. Palms up. Slowly come up, inhaling. Exhale, reach and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Walk the feet in. Shake everything out, including your feet. Now, nice and tall, I'm gonna to turn to the side here. Hands on the front of the thighs, bend at the hip. 
I'm keeping my forearms up by my torso so I don't round my shoulders. Keep the shoulders back and down as best you can. The legs as straight as possible. You can bend the knees or soften the knees if you need to, but it'll be a different stretch. Just go to your limit and hold it. And then release and just relax down. Abs in tight. And then slowly round up, one vertebra at a time, head, neck, and arms relax. And as the head comes up, bring the arms up, inhale. Exhale, stretch up from side to side at your own pace, reaching and breathing, feeling the stretch up the sides of your body. Now check the posture again, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Deep cleansing breath, inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower all the way down to the sides. Now bring the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stay in the same plane as you stretch to the sides. Weight on both feet, abs in tight. Bring the right shoulder back as you reach, look up, align the left shoulder in that same plane and feel the stretch of the right side of your body. Breathe. Up inhaling. Exhale, change sides. Check the posture, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stretch to this side in the same manner, staying in the same plane. Weight on both feet, abs in tight. Bring the left shoulder back as you reach, look up, align that right shoulder and feel the stretch up the left side of your body. Breathing. Up, inhaling. Exhale, both arms straight up. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and either stretch upward or arch back, reaching back. Jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Don't forget to breathe. Up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer, position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Now keep the shoulders back, but bring the shoulders up. No neck, arms are relaxed. Breathing. Then release, long arms, long neck. Imagine touching the floor with your fingertips and the ceiling with your head keeping those abs in tight. Again, don't forget to breathe. Release, no neck again. Release, long arms, long neck. Release, bring the arms up in hand. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms to the T position, palms down. Keeping the legs and hips stationary. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and rotate just the upper body to the left. Front, inhaling. Exhale, rotate just the upper body to the right. Front, inhaling. Exhale, left, front, inhaling. Exhale, right, front, inhaling. Exhale, both arms forward in the parallel position. Reach forward, arms are parallel to the floor and to each other, abs are in tight. Pull those shoulder blades apart, breathing. 
and then release and bring the arms back behind, clasp the fingers together, straighten the arms, squeeze those shoulder blades together and breathe. Arms could be down closer to the body, in the middle or up high or a combination. Do what feels good as long as the chest is open and you're breathing. Then release and bring the arms forward again. Pull those shoulder blades apart, arms in the parallel position. Don't forget to breathe. Then release, arms back behind again. Clasp the fingers together, straighten the arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Hold it as you did before, or if you wanna add something, bend the knees, knees over the feet. Push out through the glutes as you're bending at the hips. Arms again from below middle or high. Head and neck an extension of the spine. Don't forget to breathe. Straighten the legs, inhale it. Exhale and hold it here or arch back. Squeeze, breathing, jaw closed for a better stretch on the knee. Release. Stand up nice and tall and bend the elbows as you roll those shoulders back. Great big circles, loosening up the torso as you roll. Go ahead and do three on each side. And then straighten the arms for full range of motion. Check that posture. Again, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Let's take another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower. Now we'll work our head and neck. So nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Lower the chin to the chest. Press it into the chest. Don't forget to breathe, release, heavy head roll over to the left shoulder. Keep the shoulders back and down, feel the stretch of the opposite side of the neck as best you can. If you have any neck issues, only roll in the front, if not jaw closed, heavy head, center back. Continue the circle, heavy head, right shoulder, shoulders back and down. Check that posture, abs in tight. Again, always feel the stretch of the opposite side of the neck. Heavy head, center front, pressing the chin into the chest. Release, opposite direction now. Heavy heads, right shoulder, shoulders back and down throughout. Breathing, heavy head center back if you can. Heavy head left shoulder. Heavy head center front pressing the chin into the chest. Release, center front inhale. Exhale, turn, look over the right shoulder. Front, inhale. Exhale, turn, look over the left shoulder. Front, inhale. Exhale, turn, look over the right shoulder again. Front, inhale. Good, Mary's joining us. Left shoulder. Front, inhale. Exhale, right shoulder again. Inhale, look up to the right. Exhale, look down to the right. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Center, front, inhale. Exhale, turn, look over the left shoulder. 
Inhale, look up to the left. Exhale, look down to the left. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Center, front, inhale. Exhale, and now I want you to roll your head and turn your head at your own pace, but whatever you do on one side or in one direction, try to do the same on the other. And soon we'll come to the center. So try to finish up both sides and then come back to the center front. Let's take a deep cleansing breath, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down, up inhaling. Exhale, reach and lower. Again, roll the shoulders back, great big circles, loosening up the torso as you roll. Then we're gonna do our little balance as we continue to warm up the lower part of our body. Straighten those arms for full range of motion. Breathing is a stress reliever. Rolling the shoulders and the arms are a stress reliever. Different things work better for different people, but those are general. Shake out, moving your hips from side to side. And now let's stand on our mats. <clears throat> We're gonna do our balance part. So focus on a spot in front of you that doesn't move. Hands on the waist or the hips. Nice and tall, check that posture. Focus on that spot. We'll do the right side first. Take a deep breath in, exhale, and bring that right knee up in front. Rotate it to the side, lower inhaling. Exhale, up to the side, rotate it to the front and lower, inhaling, not done yet. Exhale, up in the front with that right side again, lower, inhaling. Exhale, up in the front, rotate it to the side, lower to the side, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side, lower, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side, rotate it to the front and lower, inhaling. Exhale, bend both knees, keep those abs in tight. Up inhaling, left side now. Exhale, left knee up in the front, rotate it to the side, lower to the side, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side, rotate it to the front and lower, inhaling, not done yet. Exhale, up in the front on that left side, lower, inhaling. Exhale, up in the front, rotate it to the side, lower to the side, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side, lower, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side, rotate it to the front and lower, inhaling. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhaling. Exhale, move your hips from side to side, shaking your arms and hands out. Okay, <clears throat> now we're gonna continue this. Hands on the waist of the hips. We're gonna do the right side first. Focus on that spot in front of you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring that right leg forward. Leg is straight, foot is flexed, abs are in tight throughout. Point the toe, flex the foot, point, flex, lower, inhaling. Exhale to the side, point, flex, point, flex, lower, inhaling. Exhale to the back, leg is straight, foot is flexed, tighten that glute, point, flex, point, flex, lower, inhaling. Exhale, bend both knees. Up inhaling, left side now. Exhale, left leg forward. Point, flex, point, flex, 
lower, inhaling. Exhale out through the side, point, flex, point, flex, lower, inhaling. Exhale to the back, tighten that glute, point, flex, point, flex, lower, inhaling. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhaling. Exhale, shake out again, moving your hips from side to side. One more simple little balance before we move on. Your body should be very warmed up. It's very warm where I am, so I'm like dripping already. Almost feel like I'm doing hot yoga, but not, not really, but pretty warm. Okay. Focus on a spot in front of you that doesn't move. Remember with balance, if you need support, stand by something. Relax the arms, inhale. Exhale, bring that right knee up in front of you. Hold it here, or you can bring it up and hug it into the chest as best you can. You can also modify and put your hands on the back of the thigh if you have knee issues. So listen to your body and breathe. Release and lower inhale. Exhale, shake out. Very simple, but it's very good for you. Now we'll do the other side. Relax the arms, inhaling. Focus on that spot. Exhale and bring that left knee up. Either hold it here or hug it into your chest with your arms. You can release and put your hands on the back of the thigh if you need to for your knee joint. Focus on your spot, your posture, and your breathing. Release and lower inhale. Exhale, bend above the knee. Up inhaling, exhale, shake out, moving your hips from side to side. Now shake your feet out like you're shaking water off. Very good, very good. Now we're gonna do a very brief, well, not a very brief, but we're gonna do a sun salutation, not an extremely long one. So stand at the front of your mat. Feet parallel to each other, as comfortable as possible. They can touch if you want, but no more than shoulder width apart. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Let's take it a deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower all the way down to the sides. Keep that posture. Now bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen and either stretch upward or arch back, reaching back, looking at the fingertips if you can. Up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, bending at the hips. Come forward and first just let the upper body relax down. Keep the abs in tight. Head, neck, and arms are relaxed. Now Ardha Uttanasana. Fingertips on the floor or blocks beside the feet, flattening that back, pushing out through the glutes. You can modify by putting your fingertips on the front of your legs, wherever you need to for a nice flat back. Now, palms on the floor beside the feet, bending the knees only if you need to into this Uttanasana posture. Breathing. Bend the knees enough to slide the left and the right foot back, hip width apart, hips in the air, up on those toes or the balls of your feet. Push the heels down, head between the arms. Lengthen the torso and arms. Rotate the shoulders down from the outside so the triceps somewhat face downward. And breathe in this downward facing dog. 
Remember, you can always modify down on your knees if you need to. Listen to your body and breathe. Now lower the hips to a plank or a high hover position, high on those shoulders. Try to make sure the rear end's not sagging or sticking up as best you can. Head and neck an extension of the spine and breathe. Of course, you can always modify on your knees if you need to. Listen to your body again and breathe. Now open to the right to a side plank. You can modify with that left or lower knee on the floor if you choose. You can have the heel of one foot up against the toes of the other or stack your feet on top of each other. Lots of options, do what works for you. Modify if you need to, listen to your body and breathe. You want, you can lower the upper arm above the head, bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a plank, check your posture, make sure you're stable, and then open to the other side. And whatever you did on the other side of your body, try to do the same on this side as well. Focus on your posture and your breathing. You want lower that upper arm above the head. Bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a plank. Check the posture. Bend the elbows, come down on the forearms and elbows now. High on those shoulders in this low plank or elbow plank. You can always modify by lowering your quads and tops of the feet to the floor. Breathing. Again, high on those shoulders as best you can. Engage those muscles. And now, palms back up on the floor, if at all possible. Just briefly, bend the knees, knees on the floor, tops of the feet on the floor. Slide back to either a moon position, head on the floor, forearms on the uh, mat actually, rear end up, or slide all the way down to a moon position, resting the rear end on the heels or as close as you can, arms outstretched, head and neck relaxed, abs in tight, breathing. Pick the heads up, slide the arms forward, forearms and elbows on the floor again, clasp your fingers together, and this time come in to an elbow cobra. Quads and tops of the feet on the floor. Look up high on those shoulders, jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Breathing. Now you may hold it here breathing or palms on the floor beside the rib cage, elbows close to the body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and come all the way up to a full cobra, high on those shoulders. Look up and breathe. And now bend the knees and up to plant the toes on the floor behind you. Pick the hips up into the air, up on those toes or the balls of your feet. Push the heels down, head between the arms. Lengthen the torso and arms. Rotate the shoulders down again from the outside. 
and breathe in that downward facing dog. Modify on your knees if you need to. Listen to your body and breathe. And if you're not modifying, walk the dog, keeping the toes on the floor. Bend one knee as you push the other heel closer to the floor, keeping the abs in tight throughout and switch up at your own pace. Breathing, walking your dog. Feeling the stretch up the back of your legs as you do. Remember with yoga, you try not to move too fast so that you really use your muscles and not momentum. And then push both heels down. And now lower the hips enough to slide the left and the right foot back up where basically you started into Ardha Uttanasana, fingertips on the floor or blocks or on the front of your legs if you need to. Pushing out through the glutes, nice flat back, head and neck and extension of the spine, abs are in nice and tight. Breathing. Then release and relax down. Just let the upper body relax down. Keeping the legs and tips stationary, rotate that upper body to the right. You can have your fingertips on the back of the right thigh, calf, ankle, or on the floor or block beside your foot. Pushing out to the glutes as you bend at the hips. Abs are in tight, no stress on the head and neck. Breathe. Then in a fluid motion, rotate over to the other side, keeping the legs and hips stationary. So you're balancing your body, doing the same on both sides. Breathing. Come back to the right. One more time on each side. Breathe. And then the left. Back to the center. And you may either relax your body down and round up one vertebra at a time as we did before. You can bend your knees to modify coming up or arms at your ears or your sides. Slowly come up. Inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, bend those knees, knees over the feet in this Utkatasana posture, fierce or chair pose, pushing out through the glutes, abs are in tight, looking up at those fingertips if you can, and breathe. Then straighten the legs, inhale. Exhale, either reach upward or arch back. Reaching back, jaw closed for a better stretch of the neck. Looking at those fingertips, if you can, don't forget to breathe. Up inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture and take a deep cleansing breath. Inhale up, exhale, reach and lower. Roll the shoulders back, great big circle. Loosening up the torso as you roll. Straighten the arms for full range of motion. One more roll on each side. And shake out, moving your hips from side to side. Shake your feet out. Very good. Very good. And now let's see if we can get down to the floor. I'm going to move down without using my hands for support, but use the resources if you need them. Seated stick posture, legs straight, back straight, arms straight. 
point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels, relax the feet, release the hold, place the hands on the front of your thighs. Hopefully your back didn't move much. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and round down one vertebra at a time. I'm gonna move my mat just a little bit closer so I don't hit my television set. Hopefully, but hopefully you're already rolled, roll down, round down, and the head is on the floor, arms at your sides, near your hips, palms down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push down with those arms and slowly bring both legs up. Remember, if you have any kind of back issues, bend the knees and then straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor. Have that lower back against the floor as best you can and those abs in tight. If you don't have any issues, you can strengthen that torso even more by keeping the legs straight, but it's really up to you. You know your body better than anyone. Point the toes, flex the feet. Relax the feet. If you have issues keeping the legs straight, you can always hold your, the back of your thighs until you're strong enough to do it on your own. But circle the feet round and round, big circles to lubricate those ankles. And then change direction with the circles. Point the toes. Flex the feet. Keeping the feet flexed and the legs straight, slowly walk the ceiling. Slowly and in control. Again, keeping the legs straight and the feet flexed. Your lower back is against the floor, the abs are in tight, and you're breathing. Keep those abs engaged. Come back to the center, point the toes, and we'll do the scissor. Cross one leg over the front and open wide. And then cross the other leg over, going slowly and open wide. And go back and forth at your own pace, keeping that lower back against the floor and those abs in tight. Legs nice and straight. And always breathe. Try to keep the shoulders resting down onto the surface below you as your arms are at your sides, near your hips, palms down. Back to the center. Toes are pointed. Flex the feet, relax the feet, open the legs wide, hands on the inner thighs, keep that lower back against the floor and the abs in very tight. Shoulders on the uh, surface below you as best you can. If you can keep the legs straight, you can slide the hands to the calves or the ankles, but keep those shoulders on the floor and that pressure on those inner legs. Abs in tight, lower back against the floor and you're breathing. Your entire back is really against the floor. Point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Relax the feet, release the hold, bring the legs up perpendicular to the floor, inhaling. Exhale, point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet, bend the knees and hug them into your chest with your arms. Full wind releasing position, breathing, abs in tight, back is against the floor. Legs are relaxed, but tightly hugging those relaxed legs in toward the chest. And remember, you may always roll from side to side to massage that back against the floor to promote circulation and hopefully prevent pain. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it, but I really don't know anybody that it doesn't feel good for but every body is literally different. No judgment. Come back to the center. 
Release the hold, place the feet, hip width apart, knees straight up. We're going to do a bridge posture here. So one thing to remember on the bridge, multiple things, but one main thing is keep your head and neck focused upward and point it upward. Don't turn to the side like I'm doing now and look because we're not doing it yet. But keep your head and neck looking up so that you protect your neck. So knees are straight up, hip width apart. First, press that lower back into the floor, slightly picking up the hips, tightening the glutes, the quads, and the abdominal muscles. Your lower body is very tight, but your upper body is very relaxed. My palms are up and my fingers are naturally curled up. My shoulders are resting down into the surface below me. And don't forget to breathe. Release the hold, inhale. Exhale and roll the hips up into the air. Keep the head and neck straight, looking upward. And bring the arms underneath you. If you can, clasp your fingers together, straightening the arms. If not, push down underneath your torso with the palms down as best you can, but try to clasp and straighten if you can. And then arch that back up and bring the shoulders and the shoulder blades and the arms as close together as possible. Arch that back up, keep the knees hip width apart. Open the chest. And if you can, tighten the glutes, quads, and abs. You don't have to, but you may. In this bridge posture, breathing. Now release the hold. Open the arms and slowly round down one vertebra at a time. And as the lower back begins to touch the floor again, bring those knees back up and hug them into your chest with your arms. Full wind releasing position, breathe abs in tight. Modification when we're doing the full wind releasing position. If you don't like it or if you prefer you can do the happy baby pose where your knees are bent and pointed out to the side, hands are on the ankles or calves or wrap the index fingers around the big toe, both big toes and roll from side to side here. So you can do either one. If we do it multiple different times, then go ahead and do it like switch off. You don't have to, but you certainly may. I'm gonna do the full wind releasing position. Come back to the center. Straighten those legs up perpendicular to the floor. Point the toes, flex the feet. Relax the feet, open those legs. Again, place the hands on the inner thighs, putting pressure downward. You can slide the hands down to the calves or the ankles. If you can keep the shoulders on the floor and the abs in tight and the legs nice and straight. Keep that pressure on those open legs, breathing. Point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet, bring those legs up, inhaling. Exhale, arms at your sides, near your hips, palms down, point the toes and flex the feet. Keep the feet flexed and slowly lower those straight legs down toward the floor, slowly and in control. Remember, if you have any kind of back issues, you're gonna bend the knees and slide the feet on the floor until the legs are straight. And if you haven't already done so, when you do reach the floor with the straight legs, Take a deep breath into your system. 
Inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale and slowly bring those legs back up. Remember to bend the knees if you need to. Once you get to the top, lower backs against the floor, point the toes. Keep the legs straight and slowly lower down. Now remember to modify by bending the knees if you need to slide the feet on the floor. Listen to your body and breathe. And again, if you haven't already done so, when you do reach the floor with the straight legs, take a deep breath again into your system, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale, push down with the arms and again, slowly bring those legs up, modifying if you need to. Now point the toes, flex the feet. Relax the feet, circle those feet again, round and round. Change direction and circle in the opposite direction. Try to do the same number on going in each direction. Then point and flex. Relax the feet, bend the knees, hug them into your chest with your arms again. I'm gonna straighten my mat out. It tends to bunch up, hopefully yours doesn't. We're gonna do the full pelvic twist. So keep those knees high into the chest. You want your quads, your thighs, as close to your chest throughout as possible. Release the hold, arms in the T position, palms down, shoulders on the floor. Lower the knees over to the right. Always keep the shoulders on the floor. And if you can, look at the opposite hand. You can modify by looking straight up if you want. Keeping the knees up high by the chest, Roll that back against the floor and lower them in the same manner on the left side of your body, turning if you can and looking at that right or opposite hand. And go at your own pace, massaging the back against the floor. As you go from side to side, just try to go the same distance on each side again so that your body is balanced as best you can. Breathe. And remember to go slowly so you use those muscles and not momentum. And if you want a little more when you're in the center, straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor. I'm gonna move up just a little bit on my mat. Point the toes and flex the feet, keeping the legs straight and the feet flexed. Slowly lower those legs out on the right side of your body, as close to the floor and that right hand as possible. Keep both shoulders on the floor, look at the opposite hand if you can, and then slowly bring them back up. In a fluid motion as you roll the back against the floor and lower them in the same manner on the other side of your body. And you can hold when you get to the end as long as you want to. Hopefully not too long or you won't get much in, but keep those abs in tight and breathe. Do what you need to do for your body. Always check your posture and your breathing. Massage that back against the floor as you go. Engage those muscles. Kind of lost count, I just keep going. It feels so good to me. Hopefully it does for you. And on the final one, bend the knees if they're not already bent. And then when you're finished, come back to the center. 
Breathe. I want you to place your feet on the floor, hip width apart. We're gonna open our hips just a little bit. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring that right leg up and cross that right ankle as high as you can on the left thigh, as close to that left hip bone as possible. Right hand under the bent right leg, left hand on the outside of that left thigh. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring that left knee in toward the torso. Back is against the floor. Abs are in tight. Hands are either on the back of that left thigh or on the left shin. And hopefully you feel a nice opening of that right hip. Breathe in. We'll do two on each side with a possible variation. So release the hold, inhaling. Exhale, unwrap, and let's do the other side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the left leg up, bend that knee, and bring that ankle as high as you can toward that right hip bone on that right thigh. Left hand under the bent left knee, right hand on the outside of the right thigh. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring that right knee in toward the torso. Back is against the floor, abs are in tight. Hands on the back of the thigh or on that right shin. Hopefully you feel a nice opening of the left hip this time. Release the hold, inhaling. Exhale again, start hip width apart, feet hip width apart, knees straight up. Now we'll do it again with a possible variation. So do what feels best for your body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring the left, excuse me, right leg up and cross that right ankle as high as you can on that left thigh toward that left hip bone. Right hand under the bent right leg, left hand on the outside of the left thigh. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring that left knee in toward that torso. Back is against the floor, abs in tight. Hopefully you feel a nice opening of the right hip. And you may hold it here like as we did before, or if you want the variation, straighten that left leg up with the hands on the back of the thigh. Now, if you have difficulty keeping the leg straight, but you still want to do it, you can wrap a towel or a strap around the foot and hold it. And if you can keep the leg straight on your own, you can release the hands and bring the hands up to the calf or the ankle. But it's most important to keep the shoulders on the floor and the lower back against the floor and that leg nice and straight. It's a great right hip opener right now, I'm feeling. And if you want, no matter if your knee is bent or your leg is straight, take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring the torso up toward that left knee. Point the toe. Flex that foot, pushing out through the heel. Lower the torso. In. Exhale, relax the foot. Walk your hands back down. Unwrap and hug your knees into your chest with your arm. Release, feet hip width apart, knees straight up. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring that left leg up, cross that ankle as high as you can toward that right hip bone. Left hand under the bent left leg, right hand on the outside of that right thigh. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring that right knee in toward the torso. Abs are in tight, back is against the floor. Hopefully you feel a nice opening of the left hip. And you may hold it, but if you did it on the other side, you might wanna do this too. I've got some more people coming, sorry. Here we go. There we go. Let's see if we can get back in that posture. Flexibility is our middle name. 
There we go. And let's see how we are. We're like this with that. You can bring that leg up, hands on the back of the thigh, or bring up to the calf or the ankle. But just make sure the shoulders are on the floor, the abs are in tight. I hope I, I don't know if I did this. Actually, it was the other side, I think. Oh, well. Okay, now take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring your torso up toward that right knee. Abs are in tight, back is against the floor. And you're breathing. Point the toe. Flex the foot, pushing out through the heel. Lower the torso, inhaling. Exhale, relax the foot, walk your hands back down, unwrap and hug those knees into your chest with your arms. And again, you may roll from side to side, full wind releasing position, breathing. You can come into that happy baby pose if you want and roll from side to side. With the index fingers wrapped around the big toes or holding your ankles or your calves. Listen to your body and breathe. Either one or both. I'm kind of going back and forth. But then come back to the center. Straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor. Actually, I'm going to straighten my mat out again. Legs are perpendicular to the floor. Arms at your sides, near your hips, palms down. Point the toes and flex the feet. Relax the feet, place the soles of the feet together, bending the knees and slowly lower those feet to the floor, allowing the knees to open. Let gravity pull them down and open the arms enough so that the palms are up and the fingers are naturally curled up. The shoulders are resting down into the surface below you. Your abs are in tight, somewhat naturally here. Close your eyes and breathe in this bottle opener posture. And now prepare for Shavasana or full relaxation. So if you want, you can slide the heels down on the floor until the legs are straight and just let the feet flop out to the sides and you'll be in that corpse posture. If you want a little more, arms at your sides near your hips, palms down. Bring those legs up together. You can bend the knees if you need to and then straighten them up perpendicular to the floor. Point the toes, flex the feet. Relax the feet and slowly lower those straight legs down toward the floor, slowly and in control. Keeping those abs in tight. Remember to bend the knees if you need to modify. Listen to your body. And if you haven't already done so, when you do reach the floor with the straight legs, take a deep breath into your system, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale and just relax your body in that corpse posture. Soon we'll take another deep breath together. And this time when we exhale, we'll fist and flex and tighten everything in our bodies we possibly can, including our faces and our necks as we stick our tongues out, bug our eyes out, open our mouths wide and just tighten everything. So take a deep breath in. Exhale and tighten. <laughs> and release, and just rest down to the surface below you. You may want to roll your heads from side to side until you find the most comfortable position for your head and neck. You may want to cover yourselves with towels or blankets or put something underneath you. You may want to put the knees together or put something under your knees if you have any kind of back issues at all. You just want to be able to relax as best you can. So if you're not already in a position that allows you to do so, please do so now.
Open your minds. Open your minds and travel to one of your favorite places, favorite safe places, a place you know that you can be relaxed and yourself and just breathe and not worry about any of the issues in your life or of your day or whatever it might be. If you're not already there, go there now. You're in your safe place. You might be alone or with your favorite person or people. We'll move through your body and allow you to relax your muscles and release your joints as you continue to breathe. Let's take a couple of deep breaths into your system to relax our bodies a little more. First, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. And then slowly exhale through slightly parted lips. One more deep breath together, inhale. And exhale again. Now continue to breathe on your own in whatever manner helps you relax in your safe place. Focus first on the hands and the fingers. Relax the muscles, release the joints. And as you move up the arms, release the joints in your wrists as you relax the forearms. Release the joints in your elbows as you begin to relax the upper arms, the biceps and triceps. And now relax the shoulders the deltoid and lateral muscles as you release the joints. The arms and shoulders are relaxed. Lower the focus now to the toes and the feet. Relax the muscles, release the joints. Allow the heels to sink deeper into the surface below you, wherever you might be in your safe place. As you begin to move up your legs, focus on the ankles as you release those joints. Then relax the shins as you relax the calves. Release the joints in your knees. Relax the hamstrings up the back of your legs. Relax the quadriceps as you relax the thighs. Relax the hips, releasing the joints. Relax the glutes. Allow the glutes to sink deeper into the surface below you, wherever you might be in your safe place. Your legs and hips are relaxed. Your arms and shoulders are still relaxed. You're in your safe place. Focus now on the torso beginning at the lower back and the spinal area at the lower part of your torso. As you begin to relax that column area, moving up between the muscles of the lower back as you relax those muscles as well. 
and relax the obliques of the sides of your torso. And relax the abdominal muscles. Relax the diaphragm and rib cage areas. And then relax the mid part of your back, those muscles as well as the spinal column moving up between. And now relax the upper back and shoulder blades as you relax the spinal column coming up between that area and all the way through the neck to the base of the skull. Now focus on the chest. Relax the sternum area and pecs. Relax the clavicle or collarbone area. And now relax the neck from the bottom to the top and all the way around. Breathe. Release the jaw as you relax the chin. Relax the lips. Relax the tongue. Relax the cheeks. Relax the nose and ears. Relax the eyes and temples. Relax the brow. Smooth the forehead. And now relax the scalp, beginning at the forehead at the perfect intensity for you. Imagine a massage moving all the way through the scalp to the base of the skull of the neck. Breathe. Take a deep breath into your system. Exhale slowly. Your mind is open. You're in your safe place. Your body is relaxed and functioning perfectly. And now from wherever you may have traveled in your mind, it is time to come home. So take a deep breath into your system. Exhale and become aware of your fingers and toes, your wrists and your ankles. Take another deep breath in. Exhale and bring those legs up, bending the knees, hug them into your chest with your arms. Full wind releasing position, breathe. Raise the head up toward the knees. Lower the head, inhaling. Exhale and either roll to the right to sit up or rock and roll up to a seated position and sit cross-legged half lotus or however you sit comfortably, nice and tall. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Hold the position, inhaling. Exhale and thank you very much for coming. Namaste. I hope everybody feels better than when we started and I hope you got what you needed. And please unmute yourselves as I stop the recording. Thank you for being here.